Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Night of the Rabbit. Last time we got to go running around between night and day for the first time. And we also tried to figure out how to give our little mouse guard some hot coffee. Didn't quite work, but now it looks like we might need the fire spell in order to do that properly. We also ran into the dwarfs again, who have started production on blue juice, and we are sitting on the bridge to look at the starry map to find out where the other portals are. So let's jump right into it and find out where the magic is hidden. Wait a minute. The old magician said I should use it near the bridge over the brook when it's dark. You're right. You're right there. Over the bridge. Okay. Use it. The old magician when it's dark. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use the map. What? Cut. We are on the bridge. The old magician said I should use it near the bridge over the brook when it's dark. Near the bridge. So you're talking about right here. Is it? Are we gonna have to sit right here then? To the sky. Hmm. Wow. So that's what the old magician meant when he said it was a special map. You can recognize all the constellations and the four portal trees of Mousewood that the Marquis and the magician talked about. The eastern tree seems to be the big tree in the middle of Mousewood. And the old path tree we used to come to Mousewood is the southern tree. The western tree is to the left on the other side of the field path. And the northern tree is to the right of the field path, a little farther away. Right. So those are the four trees behind whose portals I'm supposed to learn the four spells. They aren't so far away. But can I also find them when I'm standing right underneath? Well, we'll see about that. Ooh, got an achievement. Stargazer. I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty cool. Seeing the map appear in the actual sky so you can see it all. I really like that. Okay, so... Starry sky, sorry, da, 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 da. Let's see. Nope, okay. Well, let's head back to the portal. Since we know where the first one is. Oh, nice. The map continues on throughout the entire sky. Very nice. Yes, let's head back to the original portal. So that we can get our first spell. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's going on here? The bodies are my due. For I, I discovered him, freed him from the prison of his existence, and made him useful to us. The belongings are my due. For I placed the four metals in his hands. When his vengeance is at hand, our work begins. The land is my due, for I let him know the order in which he must drive them into the trunk. When their power comes to bear, our work shall begin. The souls are my due. From me, he knows how many blows he must strike. Once he has struck them, we will go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get caught. Someone is listening. Only a child. Damn it, a Jerry. Human. One of us. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did he say one of us? Are they the embodiment embodiment of humans or corrupted? Are they the embodiment of corrupted humans that got trapped in the magical world? Is that what's going on? And that's why they dress like humans, because they don't want to be lizards. But they're so evil that they take the form of lizards. That kind of makes sense. And they were saying, the dude in the robe was saying he rose the body. Not rose, but was implying that he rose a body in order to do their bidding. So, did they raise the Marquis from the dead in order to get me in here? Or are they using, they control, are they controlling the Marquis for something? It's very interesting how so many things are coming into view, but don't quite answer. Come to us, Jerry. Oh, 
How did they get here so fast? Ooh, and the stone is glowing. I'll probably be able to use that now. Jerry, behind this portal lies another world. Strange to us, but home to you. There you must learn your first spell. That is our tradition. How exciting! This time we will open the portal for you. Seek the ancient toad we saw at the foot of the portal tree. Oh, it the... is old. I have seen in your cards that the toad will keep a spell ready for you to learn. Probably. Arrow, stick to your script. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Good luck, young apprentice. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Why did he get mad because he went off script? Well then. Are they trying to break the fourth wall or are they actually Whoa! Are they actually under control of the lizards? Please say something else. Oh. Cuz he said the toad would give us a spell but probably Home again. Oh. I was sort of afraid I'd come out somewhere odd. Everything is suddenly so small and normal. What? <laughs> well, almost normal. Has the toad really always sat there? I've climbed around on these stones so many times. Oh, man. The woodpecker. It's Pick up more chalk. Crumbly chalk stones. If I hadn't already taken one, I would now. Oh, okay. Talk to the toad. Uh, hello? <laughs> Nothing? Ah, the song of the wood. Such a beautiful song. Okay, that bird is getting annoying. It is looping way too many times. It's sound asleep and talking in its sleep. Wow, it's huge. It feels like my head can't decide if it's here or not. I guess that's the coins doing. Ever since I looked through it, I see things differently. So is that a hint? What do we have? Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Can we give him pepper to wake him up? Just a little pinch. Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, Called oh it. Oh no. Chill. Oh man. Now my ears are ringing. Anyway, the sneeze seems to have chased away most of the birds in the neighborhood. But he's still asleep. Well, I fixed one problem. Now it gave me another. But the toad is still sound asleep. Still sound asleep. <laughs> what can we do? What can we do? Got a key spell. No, I don't want to put him to sleep. Uh, hit him with a stick. A stick won't help here. Oh. A nail? No, I'd better. Oh, okay, how about... Claw? I bet it... Oh, oh. Chocolate, give him chocolate. I have to be careful or the chocolate will melt in my hand. Again, that's what... Okay, that won't work. I don't think I have anything. Let's look around, see if we can find something. Ah, everything is just as it used to be. No, it's not. Uh, reassuring. There's posters everywhere. Why were they putting up posters? The great Zaroff experienced the greatest delusionist of our time. That's the same poster I took from the trunk. Who put it there? Strange. The great Zaroff, clairvoyant illusionist, coming soon to a theatre near you. When and where? Strange. It's very odd that they put posters on. Hello up there. They're telling us nothing. Shoo him away with the stick. Mm. <laughs> hot, hot puck, 
Pot, pot, pot. I'm tired of small talk. Oh, really? How incredibly interesting. Pot? Obviously, I don't speak woodpecker. What are you trying to tell me, bird? What? Hey, why you look at me like that? I have a sinking feeling I said something wrong. Oh well, at least it's quiet for now. But we got rid of the bird. That's a good thing. The frog was too busy talking about how... Wait, is he over here now? Nope, okay. Yes, the toad was talking about how the song of the forest. No, don't read it, Today. don't read it. Go, 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 go. Let's wander back over here. See if there's something else we can do at home. Anything new we can click on. Anything? Laundry's still out there. Ah. Oh. Mom must have gone shopping. I wonder what time it is. I don't want to miss dinner. Can we check the mail? Eh, empty. No comics, magic messages, or even pink letters from annoying pen pals. Weather stone, carrot bed, radio, front door. Can we go in the house? Uh, my school stuff is in there waiting to be packed. But adventure awaits out here. At least until lunch. And at three, there's a new episode of Future Dogs, Four-Legged Time Travelers. Oh, abandoned nest. Huh, sparrows used to live in that nest. Hmm, maybe we'll have eggs next spring. We we'll check through there, we we'll check the bushes. Yeah, 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 okay. Let's head back. I think that might have done it all. Crickets in the distance. <laughs> Crickets? What crickets? Can I click on the wall? Stone, stone, small statues, lamp clothes, way home. Let's talk about crickets. Small statue, small statue. I can hear the crickets. I can't find them. Nope. Okay, over here. Okay, they're a lot louder over here. Wait, wait, wait. In here? I already raided my secret stash. Too bad. Nope. That sends me over there. Abandoned nest. We already checked the mailbox. The dry rain barrel? I think I can hear a cricket chirping in the barrel. Such a rat in the middle of the day. Make Unbelievable. it stop. <laughs> That'll take care of it. Knock it over. <laughs> yeah. Now it's quiet. Mm. Almost too quiet. No, it's not. Now we can go wake up the toad. Wake him up. Wake him up. Anything else? Any more clues? Okay, it's quiet. And that's it for this episode. Next time, we're going to wake him up and see if we can actually get our spell. Who knows what that is? I'm hoping it's some kind of fire spell, because it looks like that might be more important than anything else. At least for now, and the small puzzles that I can actually see. But, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button if you want to stay up to date with this series or anything else that's going on on the channel don't forget to hit subscribe until next time ladies and gentlemen i will see you all later